guys hey everyone welcome 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 back to my channel if you're new here welcome on this channel we try to cover all things reality tv news and gossip trending topics celebrity news entertainment news and today we're going to be talking again about gypsy rose blanchard and listen i see some of the comments telling me to stop making this girl famous i'm not making her famous i promise i see that with like mama june content gypsy rose blanchard people's like stop making her famous and i'm like well my little channel's not doing that okay she is literally currently filming a whole docuseries so it's not me i promise you but we're gonna be talking about gypsy rose blanchard and her soon to be ex-husband ryan anderson whom she married while she was still incarcerated so it appears we know that she filed for separation she's filed for divorce and now it's coming out that she's filed for a temporary restraining order and also asking the judge to make Ryan pay her spousal support. <gasps> yes, I do think I'm going to watch it. I do think I will watch the docuseries. And, and um, one of the reasons why is because I am super curious as to how this is going to play out. Um, I am super curious how somebody who's been incarcerated for uh, seven and a half, almost eight years, and then coming out into this a life, first off, her life was so different, you know, cell phones, social media, we didn't have it the way that we do today. And then she comes out, she jumps right into it. And she's on this, uh, like press tour. She's doing all these interviews and she's immediately married. I'm uber curious. I ain't even gonna lie. So I will probably watch it. Um, and I will probably do like recaps or something about it, but maybe do some body language on it. If, you know, if I feel like that would be interesting. Um, B says, I'll stick to L's recaps. Oh, Kathy, thank you. Y'all hit that like and let's get our girl L to 100K. We're going to do it this year. We are going to do it. I'm putting it out there. So let me go over, Lord did Jesus, what's happening? And I, I listen, I don't think this is going to do Gypsy, Gypsy any favors because there's people, there, there's like two sides to this, okay? There's people that support Gypsy and they're like, she was a victim. We want to see her come out of this and do great things. There's other people that's like, no, she literally unalived her mom. Like, I literally see comments all the time. Like, my mom did X, Y, and Z to me and I didn't unalive her or I didn't ask my boyfriend to unalive her. So there's two sides to how people feel about Gypsy, right? Well, I feel like the one side, it's like, no, she should not get out of prison and profit and be this big name. She's being rewarded for being a on a liver. Um, I feel like, you know, those people are now gonna say, Wow, you are just like your mom because now you're get, like getting a free ride. You know, you're taking money from a man that really, to be quite honest, you barely knew. And also, um, yeah, and I think plant lady, I think that, you know, both can be both can be true. It ain't got to be just one, you know, you can be a victim and you can be that as well. So, oh, good Lord, I think it's not going to, I don't think this is a smart move for her asking for spousal support because her husband is literally a teacher. Some of the most underpaid, important people in our world, like him or not, but our teachers are important people. We need them. And there's literally, you know, we don't even have, enough teachers because they are so underpaid and not only is he a teacher but he is a teacher for these for special education and you're like break me off a piece of your money you know that you, you barely probably don't even make that much money and while gypsy will go on probably or has the potential to go on to make a lot of money she already has this docu-series which granted ryan is being paid for the doc for the docu-series i am sure of it um yes it is yes 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 I, so i watched um the video where they're doing the interview and he says something and she like grabs his arm and then a little bit later she like puts her hand on her hand on his arm but then mouth shut up <laughs> i didn't catch that at first but she literally she did she's like when she says you know it's like oh you went from 19 to 34 how does that happen and Ryan is like, well, you know, you didn't go to school either. I think she took that as like, oh, you're pointing out the fact that I didn't go to school. That's going to make me look stupid. But I think Ryan would say that in the sense of like, 
well, if you go to school, there's that, you know, you would have known your age because the grade that you would have been in, you would have been in yearbooks, like you would have known your age if you would have been in school. But like, because the interview was asking Gypsy, like you never questioned it. Like you didn't feel like there's no way I'm still 15, you know? And she was like, no, I didn't. Like my mom never put candles on my birthday cake. I never questioned her. And she's like, so people, you know, it's kind of weird because people's like, oh, Gypsy went from 19 to 34. And he's like, well, you wasn't in school either though. And she didn't like that comment. I think she took it the wrong way. Um, but I think he was trying to help other explain and give his wife even more. Uh, in the interview, he was trying to help her out to explain to the interviewer, well, this is this is probably also why Gypsy uh, didn't think that. Like, she wasn't even in school. So she wasn't in a grade. Like, she didn't take yearbook photos, blah, 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 blah. But Gypsy, I think she saw it as something else. So she like, and then she goes, shut up. I was like, let me tell you something. If me and Sean was doing an interview and I said something and he went, shut up. My, my, I would literally do this. Excuse me? Hold up. Hold up, interviewer person. Hold on. Me and my husband are about to have a come to Jesus me because he just told me to shut up in an interview. So hold up. Cut the cameras for a second. No way, Jose. No way. Okay, so he, Shannon D says he's not a teacher. He's a teacher's aide, and I guess it's for special education. I was looking it up earlier, like, what exactly does he do? Because I've, I've heard, like, oh, he lost his job. He was a teacher, and he lost his job. And we do know that. He, um, oh, thank you, Tiffany. Thank you so much. We do know that he worked at another school. And after he started dating Gypsy, apparently he talked about her a lot. And it made the parents of the students uncomfortable. So he either got fired or he agreed to leave. Um, so he was working, he's been working somewhere else. Um, I read as a special education teacher, but it could be that he's an aide, but either way, they don't make a lot of money. Well, I just feel like Gypsy will has the potential to make a lot of money because of her name, you know? So I'm just like, I don't think this is going to do her any favors, but let's go ahead. Let me read you guys. Let me read this to y'all really quickly. All right. So Gypsy Rose Blanchard filed for a temporary restraining order amid divorce from her husband. So she filed for divorce on April 8th. She has now filed a temporary restraining order against a strange husband, Ryan Anderson. Court documents have been obtained by media outlets. Attorneys for Gypsy filed the restraining order in the 17th Judicial District Court in the par Paris of LaForce. LaForce? I don't even know if I'm saying that right now. I'm from Louisiana. The Judicial District Court in the Paris of LaForce, Louisiana. Um, okay, it says here. People can confirm that Ryan, that Blanchard filed for divorce from Ryan, who is a Louisiana special education teacher. That's going to look, that's like taking candy from a baby. Like literally, I, you know, I don't really know like if she really is in a bind. I have a feeling like you've been doing all this press, like that you've surely been getting paid. I don't know. But literally, this is literally like taking candy from a baby. Per the documents, Blanchard is also requesting that Ryan pay in-term and long-term spousal support because Gypsy is in need and the defendant has the ability to pay and she is not at fault for the dissolution of their marriage. She is also asking the court to deny spousal support to him from her. Blanchard separation Blanchard announced her separation from her husband on March 28th, three months after her early prison release. In the days after her separation, she was spotted with her ex-fiance, Ken Erker. The pair got lunch, matching tattoos. Erker's mom, Raina Williams, says they're not back together. They're just very cool. Ken is just being a supportive friend to her. That's it. Gypsy is a very sweet girl. I think she's made her mistakes and she's trying to learn from them like anyone else. And I care a lot for Gypsy. And I want to see good things happen to her. I think this will be one of those mistakes that's not going to play out well for her. I really do. And I, I mean, I hate to keep saying it, but I really think this is like not going to work out well for her. Okay, hold 
family does. Dallas police are responding to a shooting at a Wilmer Hutchins High School. Goodness gracious. You guys, say a prayer for that school. This is ridiculous. You can't even send your kids to school anymore. That just popped up on my com computer as I'm reading this. Um, Gypsy pled guilty to second-degree murder in 2016 for conspiring to murder her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, with her then-boyfriend, Nicholas Godijan. She was released in 2023 after serving eight years. Um, all right, we all know that. Uh, let's see, what else over here? We got photos of her out and about at the DG, the Dollar General, after she got her new nose, which her nose is still kind of taped up. Hey, rebrand. Yeah, the pregnancy rumors were not true. Okay, so there she is at her local dollar store out in Cutoff, Louisiana. It says Gypsy Rose. Hold up. I was going to say, that's what I said the other day. Gypsy Rose has a new nose. She was spotted showing it off publicly for the first time this week, even though she's clearly in the healing phase post-surgery. Oh, here's another thing. See this photo? Let me show you that photo. Y'all know how I told y'all Gypsy has the ability to make money? This is it. Let me tell y'all what I know. Don't mind my little finger and my big one. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what I know. And I know this from doing what I do. And I also know it from the Johnny Depp law, uh, lawsuit with Amber Heard. That trial when um the TMZ guy testified. Here's what we know about this. Y'all look at this photo. You see how it says TMZ on it? That means that photo belongs to TMZ. That means whoever took this photo sold it to TMZ, or TMZ cameras were there to take the photos themselves. Now, Gypsy was at the dollar store with her stepmom, Christy, but Christy's not in any of the photos. So they did not just capture Gypsy, just, oh, casually walking out with her stepmom, and bam, cameras are there. Somebody took these photos and sent them to TMZ, and because TMZ has their watermark on them, they own them, so they were sold to TMZ. So, like I said, TMZ was either there to take them or somebody sold them to TMZ, right? I have a feeling paparazzi's not just hanging out in cut off Louisiana. So I have a feeling photos were taken and like, hey, here's Gypsy, you know, hanging out at the dollar store after her nose surgery. You can see her nose a little bit better. Do you want them? Sure, we'll pay you $200 for it, whatever. I don't know how much it would be, but she's making money. I mean, I don't think if I was Gypsy, I'm not letting paparazzi stand in the hallway with me and take a photo of me. This is not a photo that paparazzi is going to get of you that close. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess they do have lenses that. You can zoom in, but this is the close photo. I mean, so yeah, if, if they were there, they got tipped probably by her or somebody took the photos and, but they own them. So what I'm saying essentially is here's another photo of Gypsy, like the day after her surgery. Once again, TMZ is on the photo. So they own the photo which means they bought the photo so gypsy is already making money off selling photos of herself which listen i'm not gonna hate it nobody do your thing make your money i don't care but i just don't think it's gonna be a good i don't think this is gonna be a good look from her a man that some people will say crazy some people will say took a chance on her um some people would say well you had it coming because you wrote to a convicted murderer other people would be like, oh, he was just looking for love in all the wrong places. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I just think this man who has been with her for a few years, who when she got out, bought her clothes, cell phone, all these things to set her up in life, was there with her for this press, t press tour, took off work. And now you're divorcing him which is fine. It didn't work out. But the same day you divorce him or the, you, the same day the news breaks that you're divorcing him, you're with your ex holding hands um, and then asking for spousal support and then saying, because here's the thing, what if Gypsy starts making buku money 
because she's Gypsy Rose Blanchard. And Ryan Anderson is over here making, you know, barely making ends meet. Gypsy's also asking that even in the event that that happens, who's to say that it hasn't already happened, but even in the event that it already happens, she wants to make sure that he can't flip the script on her and make her start paying him. I don't know. I just feel like, listen, it didn't work out. Let's move forward and cut our losses. But I just don't think that asking for spouse support is, I, I think that's going to really paint her in a negative light publicly, um, especially considering what his job is. So what do you guys think? Are you guys, do you guys agree? She's filed for a divorce, filed for a restraining order. Um, I know it's being said and not by Gypsy, but from it's coming from her camp that he was jealous and controlling. But does that warrant like spousal support? What warrants spousal support? I don't know. I, one thing that I do know in Louisiana of the rare cases that I know about. Yes. So um, Ryan did say that we would see like what really happened in the docuseries, which so I'm, I'm very curious to see what really happened in the docuseries because their side is basically painted out like their side has also said that as well. Like, oh, when the docuseries comes out, you guys are going to see the real Ryan Anderson. And he's saying, you guys are going to see what really happened in the docuseries. So, I mean, it can't, can it be both? I guess it could be both. And being a little on the controlling side and maybe her just not knowing how to adapt to getting out of prison right into a marriage. I guess, yeah, and maybe neither one of them worked out well with each other. Um, yeah. Yeah, they haven't even even been married that long. Um, was he actually controlling or trying to protect her? That is a question. That's a good question. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Gypsy Rose Blanchard should be asking for spousal support from her husband, Ryan Anderson, who is a special education teacher, um, especially with her ability to make way more money than he can? And then asking the judge to make sure that it can't be flipped to where he has to pay her. Let me know your thoughts. We're going to keep up with the situation. I am. I'm curious how long it's going to be before Ken Urker is back in Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now I said, hard no. When is the docuseries coming out? This summer. It's supposed to come out this summer. Um, I think she just wants financial support. After all, she's never had to financially support herself. She's always been supported by someone. That is true. You know, she lives with her, um, she lives with her stepmom and her dad who do okay financially. Uh, and then, she, I mean, she, I know one could say, oh, it's going to be hard for her to get a job because of her past, but she can get jobs outside the norm, like selling photos to TMZ. I'm curious as to how much they paid her for these. I know most probations, you, you have to work. They're like, get a job. So, yeah, I can't say that she's short on money. I, I, I wouldn't feel like it. I wouldn't feel like it, you know. Do you think this is a move to stop him? And that could be, the restraining order could be an attempt to just make it where he can't talk about her. I've seen people do that before. But if that is the case, then the, because usually when you file for a restraining order, you have to show some show some evidence that they, that you're, you're in danger. So she has to show some sort of evidence. I know here, that's what it is here. You have to show proof that they have threatened you or they have uh, showed aggression towards you or something like that. So if, this, so if it is the same way there, then she's going to have to show some sort of proof before that to be uh, decided upon. And I don't know when we're going to hear the outcome of this. So I'm going to be keeping my eyes on everything, okay? I will absolutely give you the tea if this goes to court. And listen, if it's like a thing where I can go, I'm not far from there, like three hours, I think. So it hasn't been granted yet. Um, I just don't know when the court date is. They haven't been married long enough for her to be requesting spouse support. Ryan may have married her because she was in prison and her notoriety. Yep. She did say she didn't want the record. She did say she didn't want the records sealed. Getting a job when on probation is rarely enforced. Much like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you're right. I think it's not always enforced. There's no way she's short on cash. She's been making serious coin 
any court is going to ask for proof, in my opinion. You can't just ask for an RO without evidence, my opinions only. I think you're right. I just heard another YouTuber say he, he Google shows $3 million. She should pay him. Uh, her Google shows $3 million. She should pay him. Gotcha. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, also, Ryan may have been trying to protect Gypsy because she was portrayed as being developmentally delayed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Y'all guys are coming in with the compliments. Thank you. B said, I'm going to be on my best behavior today. <laughs> B. B is always, B is always somewhat cutting up, but not too much. Um, it's always fun. I think his love was real. Yeah, I kind of do too. Um, I don't know if it was what she needed or if it was the best or if they meshed well, but I think it was real. Yeah, the court documents made me cringe. She literally says he has the means to support me, so she, so he should be supporting me. Exactly, and I think this is, you know, that saying where it says that just because somebody can do it doesn't mean they should do it. You know, like some records, while you can pull records on some people, it doesn't necessarily mean you should pull records on some people, depending on what the circumstances around the situation are, you know? Um Anyways, you guys, like, share, subscribe. I'm a little spicy and I sting, says B. That's my mom, y'all. Y'all watch B, she'll get you. Anyways, um, like, share, subscribe. We are going to get to 100,000 subscribers this year, but I need y'all's help. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We're going to continue to keep up with this situation. Whenever a judge makes a ruling, I'll hop right on here and let you guys know. So make sure you are following this channel. Bye, guys.